Brock with 2505S here at Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And first of all, my apologies for some construction noise. We are growing, we are expanding here at Haywood. That's just a necessary evil. There is no good time to do it, so we just have to make do with it. Um, the 2505 is a new floor plan at the time of this filming. It is a uh, front dinette Murphy bed quad bunkhouse. There's never been anything like this before. It is a highly unique model. And in, uh, it's that kind of innovation that has helped Rockwood not only achieve but maintain their status as the number one selling lightweight out there. Uh, you know, there's more lightweights today than ever before. So why go with the Mini Light? Why with the Rockwood? Why would you purchase it from Halitz? Those are the types of questions I want to um, touch on in this video. Um, Rockwood is the number one seller, as I mentioned, and it is because they are among the very best built and uh, best appointed uh, lightweights out there. Uh, you know, they, they build it right, they build it right just about every time. When we do have warranty needs, they're minor and they get taken care of. Now, construction, I mentioned that. How is it different? Because other campers look good. Well, you know, other campers look a lot like this. So, uh, most trailers, your sidewalls are laminated. That's not uncommon. But walk over to the side walls of the slide outs in other uh, lightweight trailers and thump on them. This is fully laminated. The roof, the floor, the front rear walls, everything is fully laminated, not just the side walls. That is a big, big difference between things. Um, the rear wall is laminated, the roof is laminated. That means it's zero flex. You can actually walk on it. Uh, you can uh, you know, maintain it, you can clean it, you can do all that stuff. That's why we put a ladder on the back of these. A lot of lightweights have uh, at best what's called a service roof that doesn't perform to this level. You cannot put a bigger power awning on here. My apologies, that's just not possible. Uh, there is a full LED light strip, though I don't have it turned on, that does run the entire length of this awning. So about a 24 foot power awning um, with uh, full LED lights. Some lightweights will give you the LED lights, but it's only a 12 foot length. This is cool. This little trailer has a little bunkhouse storage garage. So this is also a very good way to get to see how is this built. Everything is aluminum caged. Not just aluminum perimeter, aluminum caged. That means aluminum everywhere. Now areas uh, like right here where they have to put a screw in the aluminum, they stuff it with wood so that it maintains structure and the screw has something to bite into. When you're traveling, this folds up easily and attaches against that wall so that you have just a giant cargo space here. And this is gonna be good for like uh, all the kids' toys and your outdoor stuff, your grills. Uh, speaking of which, this is your RVQ grill. We've included this with this camper. And I do wanna mention that not every single 2505S is going to be equipped exactly like the one you see in this video. They're generally gonna be similar, but our picture tours are, uh, might look a little different. We try to make the pictures match the, match the actual unit, and we do take time to write up every extra option and upgrade we put in our campers. Very few people are gonna take that kind of time. So again, why purchase from Halitz? Because we go a step above and beyond before we even met you. Imagine once we have. So what's cool with the Rockwood is you have a left or right-handed grill setup. I have it in right-hand mode right now. You put your uh, grill over here, and then most right-handed folks, when they're done flipping a burger, they set their spatula on this side. But if you're left-handed, it's just that easy. There you go, left-hand mode. Now, um, we've already pulled the TV from this unit, so I don't get a chance to totally show you, but this bracket right here matches right upside to the inside bracket of the inside TV. The entire swing arm and everything lifts off from inside and mounts out here. So what that means is that while you're grilling up a storm, you're watching the race, you're catching the game, you're not missing a thing. Windows right here so you can talk with your family. You know, this is an awesome model. Very, very intelligently designed. Um, let's step inside here, and as soon as I close this door, with this being fully laminated, quiet. Makes a big, big difference. Now they use all LED lights inside of Rockwood, and even in the middle of the day, boom, it makes a difference. These are good quality light fixtures. Let me turn this one off so it doesn't blind us. Uh, like I said, all LED lights. You're not going to have to worry about replacing incandescent bulbs. And as long as we're looking up here, I was talking about construction. This thing is built like a tank, and that's how every Rockwood's built. That's how, this is one of their smaller travel trailers. It's built the exact same way as their highest dollar, biggest fifth wheel. They only build it one way. The only difference really is size. That's what's awesome about these. This, people ask us, well, why don't you have any used Rockwoods then? Because people don't give them up. You don't upgrade from a Rockwood, you upgrade to a Rockwood. Now, this is what's unique about this floor plan. This is where it's a, uh, a one of a kind. This is a front Murphy bed, front dinette floor plan. Never been done before. 
Um, we will come back to that at the very end here. I want to give you the quick tour first. So uh, looking around, you know, uh, from the rear bunkhouse moving forward, kind of what you get to see, very almost classic floor plan. You know, a front living or a front dinette is something that you used to see all the time that's kind of phased out. Uh, you've got your uh, big TV station over here. What I like too is how it's right next to some power outlets and you can use that countertop right there as like charging space for phones and whatnot. Notice that uh, all of your doors are all hardwood. There's no panel, anything anywhere. This is the same doors they use in their fifth wheels and their travel trailers, that's it. Now, a 25 foot ultralight trailer with central air in the ceiling, very uncommon. But if you didn't have that, your bathroom and your rear bunkhouse would not get good airflow and you'd probably sweat to death at night. They have a centralized command center that's located up away from the kids so they're not messing with your water heater basically or your slides or anything like that. Um, we also have uh, a Bluetooth enabled um, stereo here. So this is your DVD player, this is your stereo, this does everything. It's got HDMI inputs. You can link to this with your cell phone with a free app and use your phone like a remote control. That is awesome. But that stereo costs a dollar more. Rockwoods ride on torsion axles. They ride better, they cost a dollar more. Actually, just between the two axles on this trailer, there's 1,000 extra dollars that most travel trailers don't have. Just the axles right there. But if they didn't have better axles and running gear, that means that the entire camper would be subject to, to more violent shocks and jolts going down the road. That would mean extra wear and tear inside your camper or your roof seams or your windows. So right from the ground up, literally the ground up, this is built better to last longer. Um, <clears throat> kitchen here is in the slide and it is deceptively deep and large. To give you an idea of scope and scale, these stove tops are the same in every camper. Same size, although Rockwood pays the extra dollar for a nice flush mount one so you get maximum counter space. But look at how deep it is behind the stove. It's 18 inches of extra space. That's how deep this is right here. It makes a big, big difference. Um, let's uh, move toward the back space here. Beautiful bathroom. Little camper like this, I wasn't expecting much, but the, the bathroom is very attractive looking. And I like that window right there for light, but you can still close it for privacy. Now this is another area where Rockwood uh, kills everybody. First of all, we have the bigger fan here in the bathroom. If you open your windows and leave this fan running, you'll get a six mile an hour breeze in your camper. That's enough to blow out birthday candles, to give you an idea. Now, if you look back there, you see those fins? That's because this has the Max Air vent cover built on it right from the factory. They put the uh, the cover on it right from the factory. You get a big medicine cabinet here to keep your countertop clear. And speaking of which, they do give you lots of countertop space in here. By the way, this is the propane tank cover. We simply take the tanks off when it comes in so that, you know, this is the best place we could find to store it. But uh, again, in a Rockwood Mini Light, you have 30 pound tanks instead of 20s. This has 50% more propane than the next guy. Um, also, this is something they just started doing, the little shower caddy. This is just really handy. These little shelves over here are nice, but they just, you know, your soap bottles and stuff just fall right off. And that caddy is awesome. You're gonna like that. Uh, back here in the bunkhouse, again, good lights. So we have two just generic ceiling lights. But we also have individual spotlights for uh, a couple of the bunks here, like you see right there. Uh, that's also really handy where if this lower bunk is flipped up to be used like a garage, it gives you an outside storage light. Uh, great storage space for all the kids stuff back here too, because that's, that's the trick with a lot of bunkhouses. You know, you can sleep a bunch of people, but you can't store their stuff. Um, Rockwood is paying the extra dollar to include a ladder for you, so you don't have to throw your kid into the upper bunk. Now this is where it's really cool. We call this in our line of work an eat and go dinette. Um, this can fold down into a bunk if need be, but on a rainy day in a little camper, you're gonna be bashing your head against the wall if you get your kids jacked up on Kool-Aid and Mountain Dew. Well, in this camper, you can just sort of let them have their own space and you can let them have a measure of freedom to work off the sugar. So this is their own little slice of heaven and during the day, this easily folds up against the wall. You see, this is not heavy at all, but it easily folds up against the wall uh, so that you do have, um, you know, private sleeping space, but you have a second living space. Now, back to the, the star of the show. Normally, you would fold the table down. Um, I'm not gonna do that since I just have one hand here. So I'm just simply going to slide the table aside. Squeeze past here. There we go. And you're seeing this all in real time, pardon the shoddy camera work right here, but this is all it takes for your bed. You simply pull this thing down, and that's it. Well, if that table wasn't there, I'd have more room. But anyway, that's all there is to it. Just bed comes up, bed goes down, and you're done. So give us a call, 
5196 Hayward RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping. Have some fun.